What is up, gang? Welcome back to the show. It's Speaker's Lab. Guys, we are back today. The gang is back, and we got an emergency episode, dude. I, I don't think we've ever done this before, but I sort of didn't realize that sneak peeks were coming. It sort of snuck up on me, but, you know, that that's what they do, right? And I just saw it in here now, guys, and I'm sort of freaked out. Okay, let me show you guys what, what's going on if you guys didn't see this yet. Okay, it all looks good at first. Like, they snuck us in here with a little bit of good stuff. We got a new potion. Okay, dope. Let's go check it out. Doesn't it look cool? I think it just looks cool. I don't know why. I think it looks cool. Let's check it out though, guys, because there, there's some other things in here that seem like they try to sneak it under the radar that I really do not like. And like, look, I love Clash. I'm never gonna say like, the, you know, I'm sure they had their reasons what I'm trying to say, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, first of all, you, you guys know that right now I have full of those Clan War medals. You know those medals you get from Clan War League? Uh, I'm full on them right now because well, I, I can't tell you why. There's no reason. There's no logical reason. But I just forgot to spend them. So now I have 2,400 of them. I could basically right now buy 20 hammers. 20 hammers. And I could do 20 buildings at once. That's not going to be possible anymore, dude. Did you guys see this? Okay, changes to magic hammers. Let's skip right down to this because this, this is the thing that makes me the most worried. And like, maybe this doesn't even affect most people. I've only used a hammer once. And so I feel like I'm getting cheated, but maybe most people don't even use them on hammers. But anyway, after the June update, there's going to be a seven-day cooldown on all magic hammers. What? Dude, I had this grand plan, this, this grand idea of doing everything that's left on my base in like one, in like one video, you know? Like, boom, 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 just like keep hitting it. And now we're not going to be able to do that. I mean, we could do it before the update. Uh, when is the update? It just says June update. We're in June, right? I think so. Yeah, we're in June. <laughs> so I don't know when the update's coming. I guess we can assume it's gonna be a little while. I mean, at least a couple days, right? I, I have no idea, but this sucks, man. Emergency. What are we gonna do? We gotta make a plan. So I guess we're gonna spend them, guys. I don't wanna do it today because I'm just not mentally ready for that, but let's do it. Or at least buy a bunch. <sighs> I don't know, man. And the other thing is there's um there's a clan war league going on right now, so I have to spend some anyway before that's over. So guys, let's go back up at the top and see what is actually in this. So new magic item, the research potion. I mean, that's dope if you need some, you know, lab stuff. I think I'm basically done on most of my accounts, but you know, it's always good to have this. Uh, the research potion is a culmination of, yeah, cool. <laughs> the wizard and the goblin got together. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Cool. Okay, so basically this potion will speed up your lab for 10 times uh, for an hour. Cool. We, we could have guessed that, but that's cool. Uh, you know, this this is a little weird too, guys, because look, training potions are now gonna be available in the shop, which is great. I don't know if that's a good deal or not. Actually, that's not a really good deal. I think the metals are way more valuable than that. It should be like one metal for a training potion, but whatever, okay, fine. They're gonna be available, that's great. Training potions are dope. But the other stuff looks like it's gonna go uh, uh, up in price. Like I think the builder potions were 15, Metals before. Let's go check. Let's just go check right now. We can see right now. Uh, where are they? Yo, they're right there. Builder potion is 15 right now. And like, I was never gonna buy those on this account. But from what I've heard, like, if you're a lower level clasher, those things are dope. When you're just starting out, Town Hall 5, Town Hall 6, whatever, you've got a ton of small upgrades and you bust one of those out and all of a sudden you're, you're done with them so much quicker. You don't really want to hammer when you're. Tunnel 6, you know, because things are so cheap. You don't need it. But when you're Tunnel 12, you know, hammer of fighting, hammer spells, hammer of building, super, super valuable. Uh, so, you know, whatever. I don't want to see the little guys get a bad deal out of this, which sort of seems like the case with the builder potions, but, you know, it's all good. Maybe they maybe they needed to be more expensive. I don't know. Uh, let's see if there's anything else, guys. Was, was that it? Changes to magic hammers, changes to the league shop, and the new potion. Yeah, that's it. Weird, man. Here's what I think. I've said this a bunch of times, but I feel like you should be able to hold more of the magic items. If they're gonna make it so you can only spend one hammer a week, a week. Wait, was it one of each hammer a week? Okay, there will be a seven day cooldown before that same kind of hammer can be purchased again. Okay. Hey gang, so before we go do some raids, I, I just sort of have been trying to break this down in my head as to what these metals are actually worth. Because we have gems. We know what gems are worth, you know? Each gem is basically worth a penny. I mean, that's like a rounded up version, but think about each gem as a penny and 100 gems as a dollar. Cool, I can do that. And it actually uh, sort of works out because, look over here guys, uh, things are generally divisible by, 
you know, a hundred. Like, look at those wall rings, for instance. A hundred gems gets you one wall ring. Okay, so that's a good point that we can actually build off of, guys. So, look, the Builder Potion is currently, let's round it up to 300 gems, and a wall ring is 100 gems. Great, so we got those, we got those. And we can compare that to in here to find out what the metals are actually worth. Dude, we're going so, like, <laughs> math professor over here, right? So, I, I hate math. So, guys, look at this. Wall rings, each one is worth five metals. Five metals, therefore, equals a hundred gems. That seems completely out of whack. Like that, that's crazy. And then, okay, then take that, what we just said, go over to the Builder Potion. That means the Builder Potion is currently worth 300 gems. Guys, that goes right back to what we were just saying. 300 gems, right here, Builder Potion. So why are they doubling the price? You know what I mean? Like, why would they double the price? It's already all even. Clearly, somebody looked at this stuff and and did the math. Like, I'm just reverse engineering someone's intelligent thought process. Mine is not. And you know what else, guys? I can tell just like by looking at it that that Hammer of Heroes is exactly the price of a Rune of Dark. That's why it's more expensive, you know, because the Rune of Dark Elixir is so expensive. And a Book of Heroes. All right, guys, so here we go. 165 medals. That's how much the hero hammer is. And then we're gonna multiply that by 20 to convert that into gems. Look at that, 3,300. You guys know how much a rune of dark elixir is? 3,000. You guys know how, how much a, a book of heroes is? 500. So this was clearly, clearly, like someone really thought a lot about this. They're like, okay, we're gonna take those two things, mash them together, because that's what a, 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 a hammer is. It's a book and a rune mashed together and we're gonna basically, you know, give a little discount on that. Uh, so 3,300 instead of 3,500. That's crazy. Somebody's thought about this so much. So why, let's go back. Um, what's up, I've been watching One Piece. <laughs> this is crazy, dude. I feel like I've blown this this whole thing open. These, these are so strangely valued, these metals. In some cases, they're worth so much. And then in, in the cases of these builder potions, they're about to be worth they're about to be a terrible deal. This is so nuts, dude. It's so crazy. Um, that reminds me, one more thing I want to do before we go, dude. Oh my god. Wait a minute. So if that all tracks, if we think about all the things we just said, where one medal is worth 20 gems, how many gems is the champion statue worth? Holy crap. So 2,000 times 20, 40,000 gems. It roughly translates into, guys, that's $300. Oh my God. That is so sick, right? Yeah, $300, right? Cause 340, a little more. It's like 350. Holy cow. What? That's awesome, dude. So look, I wanted that champion statue. Uh, now I don't know if I do because, you know, 40,000 gems sounds better, but that's crazy, man. That's crazy. So anyway, I hope you got, uh, you know I hope we gave you guys some insight into what these things are actually worth. Um, yeah, cool. Yo, some of you guys out there are like, what did we just listen to? Holy crap! I stopped listening when <laughs> when he said twenty times five. What? <laughs> yeah, I hear you. But um, in case you guys didn't get the gist of it, think about it this way. It, here's the TLDR version: five medals equals one hundred gems, which roughly equals a U.S. dollar. Think about it either way. So don't sell yourself short, man. Remember, those medals are worth so much. Don't sell yourself, sh sell yourself short. So guys, uh, let's take this since we're here. I, I don't really care what we take. I just want to take some bases and crush them. Uh, crush some noobs. This is not a noob. I, I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to be mean. Uh, whoa. Hey, can we not? Thanks. Can, can we not? Thanks. All right, cool. I'm going to drop a whiz in there, see if we can help. Thank you. Thank you. Yo. Homie just with the traps, huh? I'm gonna hit the warden ability if we hit any more like air traps. If we hit any of the uh, seeking air mines, cause those things are so nasty. I hate those things. And it is kind of cool that you can defend against them if you have the uh, the hero, the warden. All right, let's get ready. Oh, oh crap, I pressed the wrong button, dude. Oh no, I pressed the heal spell. I did it again. Okay, we were already protected, right? I think we're good, dude. I think we did lose one of our healers though. 
That sucks, man. Yo, the Warden is the best hero there is, really. Like, there's no doubt about it. Um, I'm gonna drop another healer, I think, because this is the most important thing. Like, keeping the Queen alive is so much more important than any other dumb stuff we're about to do. Um, keep alive, Queen. <laughs> like I said, keep alive. All right. Let's take some heat off the Queen over here. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, we broke in. Yes, keep going, keep going. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. I guess I'll freeze this because we're just getting rained on over here. Cool. Um, I got a heal. That's going to be really nice. Look, everyone's in like one nice little group here. I really want to... I, I really want... What is in the clan castle? What was even in there? I guess I didn't really see. All right. Now it's time for the heal. Yo! See, I don't think you can heal through the bomb. You know, the bomb that drops in the uh, from the town hall. But... I guess I sort of just healed around it, which made me feel a little better. It may have not done anything, but it made me feel better. Yo, look at that. That is so cool. All right, should I jump those guys? Oh crap, they just got out by themselves. It's fine. We, uh, you know, we helped them anyway. So that was really cool, man. This was a really fun raid. I love bases. You guys should always try to hit up bases like this where they're really like compact. You get that good crossfire. You know what I mean? Like the bullets especially. They're just hawking rocks every which way and they're hitting buildings they didn't even mean to hit. You know? If a base is really spread out, sometimes it can be a little, little tougher with, with certain armies. And I think this is an example. Like, um, I guess hogs are a good example too. You want things to be kind of close together because uh, you can like, cover the whole thing with heal spells and your hogs are never going to die. Same thing with this. So guys, I think that's just it for today. I don't think we're going to be here for much longer. After that math lesson we gave you on uh, <laughs> converting currency. Yeah, I think we're good. But just remember, guys, metals are worth mad money. Don't, yeah, don't, don't do dumb stuff with them. I feel like, actually, after this next update, they're, they're not going to be, like, okay, here's the best example. Uh, what did they say? Let's, let's go back in here and just see real quick. Uh promise I'm not going to take much more of your time, but okay, training potions are going to be uh, 10 league medals. Holy crap. Judging by the math that we did, that's 200 gems. But if you buy a training potion, it's 25 gems. I feel like that, I must have done the math wrong, right? Anyway, guys, uh, I guess that's it for today. Let us know how you guys are doing in the comments below. Be sure to leave two for Lulu and get psyched because I guess, guys, you know, once I get mentally prepared for it, we're going to come in here and do like 20 things at once. I mean, I, I can't even, I can't even comprehend it. That's why I want to be absolutely like mentally prepared for it. I want to make sure everything is running at peak efficiency over here, including, you know, me and Lulu. And we'll just bust out at least 10 upgrades. Maybe we'll save half of them. Can you imagine doing 20 things at once though? Like what? Do we even have 20 things? I don't even know. I think I could do 10 things in the lab and 10 buildings. So 10 hammers in here, 10 hammers out here. Cool. Anyway, guys, we've rambled on long enough. Thank you for coming out. We love you guys. Leave two for Lulu. We'll see you guys right here tomorrow on Beaker's Lab. Peace, gang.